What's up everyone? My name is Cody Engel and I'm a staff software engineer who enjoys making videos about the tech industry. When I was first getting started out as a software engineer, I had no idea how much money software engineers could actually make. Actually, to this day, I still really am astounded by how much money people make as software engineers. In this video, I'm going to break down the salaries of Google software engineers going from entry-level software engineers all the way up to principal software engineers. If you are excited to learn about how much money software engineers earn at Google, first, smash the like button. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm. And with that out of the way, let's get into it. Starting off, we are going to talk about the L3 level at Google, which is the entry level for software engineers. They start off with a base yearly compensation of $129,000 on average. Their stock grants per year are, again, on average, $38,000. Stock grants at Google, the way that they work is they will vest over a four year period. And so the numbers that we're talking about in this video are the yearly amount that you would get at Google. So it's not the, the four year period, it's just $38,000 per year. In your offer letter at Google, you would actually have that $38,000 amount multiplied out to four. So just wanna call that out because we're just talking about the yearly numbers, not the, the total numbers. Hopefully that's not too confusing. If it is, let me know in the comments, I'll, I'll clear that up. The next component of their total compensation is in the amount of a yearly bonus, which is $20,000 per year, again, <laughs> on average. With all those numbers together, the total compensation for a L3 software engineer at Google is $188,000 per year. Moving on up, we have the L4 level for software engineers at Google. You can just consider these just normal software engineers, mid-level software engineers, whatever you wanna call them. Uh, they start off with a base salary on average of $155,000 per year. Their stock grant per year goes up a bit. It is $80,000 per year with a expected bonus of $27,000 per year. You add all of those up and you can expect to make $263,000 per year as a software engineer at Google. Before we get into the next level of software engineers at Google, I just wanna call out that if you're a bit confused in terms of what to expect at each of these different levels, I'm going to point up, I think here, there is a video that I made that talks all about the different software engineering levels that you can expect as a software engineer, going from entry level all the way up to principal. And it talks about kind of what you can expect to do in terms of day-to-day -day job duties. So if you are all confused about what these different levels mean, go check out that video. But getting back into this video, uh, let's talk about what the yearly compensation would be for a L5 software engineer at Google, which translates to a senior software engineer. So to start off, you would have a base salary of $189,000 per year. Your stock grants yearly would be $128,000 per year. The bonus would be $38,000 per year with a total compensation of $355,000 per year on average. Next, we have the L6 level of software engineers at Google. This is the staff software engineer level and their yearly compensation starts off with a base salary of $223,000 per year on average, a stock grant of $202,000 per year, a bonus of $49,000 per year, and you add up all of those numbers and you get a total of $475,000 per year on average working as a staff software engineer at Google. Moving on up, we have the L7 software engineer at Google, which is the senior staff software engineer. Their yearly compensation is made up of a base salary of $270,000 per year, stock grants of $332,000 per year, a bonus of $83,000 per year. And again, we add up all of those numbers, we will get a average total compensation as a senior staff software engineer at Google making $686,000 per year. Finally, we're getting to the L8 level at Google, which is the principal software engineer. You can expect a yearly base salary of about $321,000 per year. Stock grants per year are roughly $746,000. Your 
bonus is around $122,000 per year. And the total compensation on average for a principal software engineer at Google is $1.19 million per year, which is a crazy number. <laughs> Let's actually get into breaking down uh, a bit more of these numbers just to talk about them in depth. When you're thinking about all these numbers and all of the different levels are entry level software engineers, you're usually staying in that position for a year or two, maybe a little bit longer, but usually about one to two years. And then you'll get promoted, you'll become a software engineer. And then that's kind of where things can take a bit of time. You may get promoted pretty quickly to a senior software engineer, depending on your performance. You may stay in that position for three, four, five years. Eventually, most people will get promoted to a senior software engineer, and that is kind of where things can stagnate a bit. You may be a senior uh, software engineer for several years. You may be a senior software engineer for the rest of your career. Really, it all depends on what you're doing to level up. Some folks will then become staff software engineers depending on their general performance, what else they do outside of just writing code. Going on from there, senior staff software engineer, again, you're leveling up a bit more. And then principal software engineers are essentially just industry leaders in whatever field they're in. So if they are a Android engineer, they are one of the best known Android engineers. If they are a Go developer, they are the best Go developer or one of the best Go developers. Like principal software engineers, they, they don't come around too often. Usually companies only have a couple. Google has a couple other levels that we didn't talk about, which is uh, the fellowship levels. Those ones are even more difficult to get promoted into. You really will only have a couple of those at Google. The numbers that I was pulling, you just don't have enough data to know, well, how much are these folks making on average? Because there just aren't enough of them. The next thing that I want to talk about with these numbers is these are averages. And you have to consider where these averages are coming from. Google is based out of Mountain View, California. They have a wide range of positions available in the Silicon Valley area. They have positions open in Seattle. They have some in Austin. They have some in Chicago. They have some in India. They have some in England. They have some all over the world. But Google is largely focused in the Mountain View, Silicon Valley area. These salaries tend to be pretty high, largely because of the cost of living out there. You might be spending $3,000 for a one bedroom apartment that really isn't that great looking. Whereas in other parts of the country, other parts of the world, you're spending way less. And so with these numbers, you can expect them to be inflated and skewed towards the Silicon Valley area. A Google software engineer in Chicago, they probably are not pulling in these kinds of numbers. It's best to take these numbers with a grain of salt. It's good to understand what the general averages are, but you always have to localize for the area that you are living in. Which gets to the final part of this video to actually talk about where do these numbers come from? So these numbers were pulled from levels.fyi. It is a really great service just for understanding how different engineering levels transfer from one job to another because they don't always line up perfectly in the way you would think. They also have a really great salary tool that they've been building out for many years. When I first started using levels.fyi, their salary tool wasn't that great. But today, it's honestly becoming like an industry standard. It's what I go to when I'm trying to figure out how much you know, how much money software engineers make. The way that Levels.fy does this is when you go to submit your salary, you actually have to provide them with documentation about that salary. So you can't just make up these numbers. You either have to provide them with a pay stub. I think they will accept W-2s. All right, so did these salaries surprise you at all? I know for me, when I was doing the research for it, I did not expect principal software engineers at Google to make quite that much money, especially with the stock grant, but you know, as you move up in, in your job, you're going to get more and more RSUs. And so it just kind of makes sense. But yeah, that's a crazy amount of money to make every single year. So let me know in the comment section down below if any of these numbers surprised you. If you currently work at Google or have worked there in the past, do these numbers sound about right to you? Do they sound a little off? Would also be very interested to know. And other than that, if you haven't already subscribed and you haven't clicked that notification bell, please be sure to do that. And if you forgot to smash the like button at the beginning of this video and you've made it all the way here, please just go ahead, smash the like button. 
gotta click it until it turns blue, it gives a thumbs up, and then the YouTube algorithm will promote this video across all of the interwebs. More people will find out how much Google software engineers make. And that is really all I have for today. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.